Over the last decade, we've seen growing support for the legalization of both marijuana and gay marriage. But tonight, we investigate what has quickly become America's most controversial movement yet, legalizing gay marijuana. For more on what it is, where it came from, and why you should be concerned, we turn to our field correspondent, Carl Calzone. Thanks, Jane. I'm here in New York City, global center for gay culture, drug abuse, and home of a new colorful strand of pot known as Cannabis Degeneres, or as it's called on the street, gay marijuana. I met with Sheriff Victor Krummeldorf to share his experience with the polarizing plant. Yeah, uh, what we're most likely dealing with here is a modified strand of rainbow kush. Uh, one hit from this stuff and you're going to be eating uh, prosciutto wrap dates and caviar all night. Officer Krimbledinks then revealed some shocking statistics. In cities where gay marijuana is prominent, crime rates drop significantly and appreciation for live theater, pop-tarts, bean bags, sun chips, and Xbox controllers have skyrocketed. With new legislation hitting ballots this month, locals are addressing their concerns about what could be a turning point for America. So if you want to worship your own god, do it. If you want to pop prescription pills, be my guest. Man, I just want to shotgun gay marijuana out of my buddy's asshole. 35-year-old Hillary Bauer says ever since she started smoking gay marijuana, her life has never been better. <laughs> um, sorry. Newlyweds Rachel and Peter Schwarzenstein have been advocating for gay marijuana ever since they discovered its so-called benefits. Peter has way better taste in clothes now. We're not fighting as much as we used to. It's like we're actually communicating. Others, like Barry Whittlebricks, aren't so thrilled about gay marijuana. I'm not so thrilled about gay marijuana. At the Humboldt County Center for Homosexual Drug Awareness, Dr. Henry Sassoon and his team have been studying the difference between gay and straight marijuana. All marijuana is technically gay. The male parts are often removed, resulting in a lesbian plant. There you have it. You're now more intelligent, balanced, and informed with our totally true, unbiased facts. Tomorrow night, we'll find out if undocumented immigrant CEOs are the real cause of affordable gun care. For Bought and Paid For Nightly News, I'm Carl Calzone. Back to you in the studio. Hey guys, if you liked that video, come on, just click subscribe for a minute. If you like this video, like it. You need more clones? Click here. <laughs>